Hello there and welcome to the June 2018 paper here we're looking at question 2. So question 2a is to show that x squared minus 8x plus 17 is greater than 0 for all real values of x. Now in this kind of question here it's always helpful to complete the square first. So I'm going to write it as completed the square. So x minus 4 squared minus the 16 but plus the 17 so that will be plus 1 uh, is our completed the square. So let's now start our proof. As x minus 4 squared is greater than or equal to 0 for all x existing in the real set of numbers. Now, why is this true? Well, it's because you're squaring it. No matter what x value you've got, when you minus 4 and then square it, uh, it's going to always going to be positive or 0. Then when we add 1, it's going to be x squared so x minus 4 squared plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. So we've added just 1 to both sides of our inequality here. So therefore, what we can say is that x minus 4 squared plus 1 is going to be uh, bigger than 1, bigger than or equal to 1. So therefore, it must be greater than or equal to 0 for all x existing the real set of numbers. And there we are, that's the answer for this question here. So we've started with the fact that uh, any squared value is greater than or equal to zero. We've added one to both sides, and therefore we've concluded that uh, x minus four squared plus one is definitely gonna be bigger than or equal to one. It's gonna be one or more, so therefore it's definitely going to be greater than zero for all values of x. Let's move on to part B now. If I add 3 to a number and then square the sum and square the sum, the result uh, is greater than the square of the original number. Okay, so states giving a reason uh, whether this statement is always true, sometimes true, or never true. I think I just need to algebraically form this first. If I add 3 to a number and then square that sum, it's greater than the square of the original number. Okay, so that's that's our that's our um, that's our theory that this is true for all values of x. I'm thinking it might not be true for negative values of x, but it certainly is true for x equals two. So this will lead to five squared is bigger than two squared, which is true. But maybe if I set x equal to minus 10, let's just see what happens here. Uh, that will be minus 10 plus 3, that will be minus 7 squared. Uh, it's supposed to be bigger than 10 minus 10 squared, which is not true. Because 49 is not bigger than 100. So therefore it's only sometimes true. Uh, okay, and there we are. That's all we need to do for this question here. That's two marks for that part B there. So five marks in total for this question. So there we are. That's the answer for question two. Let's now move on to question three.